Hey everybody, Rich Sharpentier here with RLC Design. Thanks for stopping by today. And if you're watching this video, chances are you're interested in either creating a new online presence for your business or other purposes, or uh, you're interested in improving your current online presence as well. Now we've all seen it on YouTube, we've all seen it around the net. Um, the big Wix commercial, you need a website, why not Wix? Why not do it yourself? Well, you can do it yourself, and we're going to be talking about that in our video series over the next few weeks and months. Uh, we're going to talk about, yes, you can build your own website, absolutely, but it's not as simple as the Wix commercial makes it out to be. There's a lot involved with building your online presence, and your online presence goes beyond just a website. We're talking about search engine optimization. We're talking about social media. We're talking about outreach that actually gets you found and gets your business found online. So it's not just about throwing up a website and you are instantly found. There's a lot more going on uh, in building an online presence. That's why I'm part of RLC Design, and we actually build full and complete online solutions for our clients. Uh, we utilize WordPress and uh, ThemeCo's X-Theme. And you don't have to use the same tools we use, but there are some things going on behind the scenes when it comes to website building um, that will need to be addressed. Today's online presence is a combination of multiple tools. So, a website is a great starting point, but you also have to think about social media because a lot of people use social media today to find out about businesses and things that they're interested in online. And beyond social media, you also have to start thinking about search engine optimization and getting found. If you build a website and throw up an Instagram account and throw up a Facebook account, chances are you'll never be found. And that's just the bottom line truth here, guys. Uh, it takes time and effort to actually build an online presence that reaches people that you want to find. With hundreds of millions of websites out there and hundreds of millions of searches going on constantly, how do you get found in all of that noise? Well, we're going to talk to you about that in our series. So while we're doing training on the different tools that we use, we're also going to talk about helping you get found. You've got to keep in mind that when you're building an online presence and when you're trying to start an outreach campaign, that you are going to be investing a lot of time and effort. There's no two ways around it. Amazon did not become huge overnight. Amazon built over years and years. Google was not huge overnight. There were so many search engines out there in the beginning. So before there was ever Gmail, and before Google got involved with YouTube, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, they were a small company. So if you're trying to reach people on the internet, you're going to start small, and you are going to have to grow into it. Now, on a typical engagement, when we do lower-end websites for our clients, sites where they don't have a lot to spend, and we understand that, we're still looking at, as an organization who's doing this professionally, we're still looking at well over 100 hours of our time developing a simple online solution for our clients. Normally, over the course of years, if you really are working to grow your online presence, you're going to be uh, investing hundreds, if not thousands of hours in your outreach campaign to get found. This doesn't happen overnight. So that really cool Wix commercial, hey, you need a website, why not do it yourself? Absolutely. You can have a website built today. No doubt about that. I can build a brand new website today. Nobody is going to find that website immediately. There's work that has to go on behind there. You have to start thinking about search engine optimization and the words that people are going to use to find you. And if you haven't given much thought to that, in the video tutorial series that we are now starting into, 
we're going to talk to you about building your website, building a really stunning website, and then getting that website found. In order to get your website found, you're going to need to start learning about search engine optimization. The words that you use on your website are incredibly important. Now let's say you're a photographer or an artist and everything that you do is visual. Well, you can make a stunning, amazing, gorgeous website filled with your artwork, your photography, your paintings, your sculptures. And that website will never be found because you're an artist and you think about things in terms uh, visually, so you're popping up images of the works that you've done. The problem is that the search engines need words to find you. So if you create a visually compelling website with no words behind it, nobody is ever going to find that website. So when you first start into thinking about building your own online solution, building your own website, doing it yourself, you need to sit down and write down your objectives. You need to ask yourself some big honest questions. What am I trying to do with my website? Am I trying to sell things online? Is there a particular audience I'm trying to reach? Uh, is there a particular demographic? In our case, we work with a lot of RV parks and RV resorts. And normally the demographic is uh, retired people who are traveling with their RVs. But that demographic is changing now. We've got younger families out there. So when RV parks are looking to do outreach online, the people that they're trying to talk to, that group is starting to change. And as the baby boomers uh, get into their full retirement, um, the next generation is coming up. So who are those people you want to reach later? So there's a lot of planning that goes on behind creating a really cool online presence. So it's not just a pretty website like RLC Design here. We've got some pretty graphics going on. But the bigger part that we pay attention to is actually what we are saying. And in our video series, we're going to be talking to you about how to reach those people that you're interested in. We're going to talk heavily about search engine optimization. We're going to talk heavily about website design. We're going to talk very heavily about utilizing social media. And you've got to keep in mind the entire time that your online presence is completely dependent on your interest level and on the time that you can invest in it. If you don't have the time to invest in your online presence, I can already promise you, you're going to be really disappointed. Now, even if you work with a professional group like RLC Design, we're still going to be spending a lot of time developing information and content for your online presence. So whether you're doing this yourself and doing a do-it-yourself website, or whether you're doing this with a professional group, there is going to be a large investment of time up front in order to achieve the goals you want to achieve. One of the really interesting things when we work with customers, we sit down with customers, we usually spend about 8 to 12 hours up front before we ever sign a contract with a client learning about that client. Because incredibly enough, small and medium business owners often don't know how to describe their own business. And I actually took a course over a year ago with a company called You Gurus to learn about doing good project proposals and helping our own customer base learn about what it is they want to do online, what it is they want to achieve. For some of our customers, they are recreation locations, they're destination locations, and their business is focused on RVers coming to their area, spending the winter with them, spending the summer with them. So they're trying to get potential customers to make a reservation with them. So how do you want to accept reservations? Do you want to accept reservations online? Do you only want to take phone calls for reservations? Do you want to allow customers to do their reservations themselves? 
or do you want to guide them through that process? The answers to those questions will greatly affect how you're going to build a website, how you're going to do your search engine optimization, and how you're going to present yourself through social media. We have other customers who sell products online. So the big thing that they want to do is get found online for the products that they're selling. Well, how do we get those products found? That is dedicated research on search engine optimization to find out what people are searching for for those product categories. Sure, you can be number one on Google and uh, you can get found for the name of your company, richeswidgets.com, and you spend all your time just focusing on your name. People aren't looking for my name. They're not looking for richeswidgets.com. They are looking for Southwestern photography. They are looking for uh, Prescott photographers. They are looking for RV park web designers. They're not looking for your company name because it's not out there yet. Over time, if you build your marketing campaign well, they'll know your name and they'll know how to get to you. But that can take months, years, or even decades to get that kind of recognition. So. If you've decided that you want to build your own website, we've got a great series that we're going to be putting together for you. And in that series, we're going to talk about the tools we use. We use WordPress. We use ThemeCo's XTheme. We utilize several tools for search engine optimization. And we heavily utilize several social media platforms. In the case of your business or your online presence, you might have interest in other social media platforms that cater toward your business segment. These are all things that you're going to need to sit down and plot out before you just build your own website.